Hi, Mark here from rawnutrition.com. In this video, I'll be doing a juicing demonstration with the very popular Omega juicer, the NC800 HDS. So this is one of the newer design juicers for the single auger horizontal masticating or single auger masticating juicer. So that's quite a mouthful. I'll start with a simple installation. I mean, this juicer is one of the easiest to set up. So basically you install your juicer body and then find my auger. Now I want to juice. So there are two screen options that are available. You have the juicing screen and then the homogenizing blank for processing fruit. So in this video, I am juicing. I'll put in my juicing screen and then my end cap. And then there's also the new control knob that goes on the end. So I'll put that on and tighten that up all the way to five. So when that applies the most pressure to the end of the auger here with this little gasket, and it'll retain the most pulp so the auger can squeeze out the most juice. Other things included with the NC800 are the pasta accessories here for extruding pasta. And of course your pusher, juice bowl, and juice pulp collecting cup. So I should actually reverse these, the juice under here, and our pulp over there. Perfect. So I've got just here a mix of fruits and vegetables. So this juicer is very easy to use, um, multi-purpose too, because you can do fruit sorbets, nut butters, and things like that. So in this demonstration, I'm just juicing a variety of fruits and vegetables. We've got carrots, beets, celery, kale, and uh, ginger. I like to mix things as I'm juicing. I find I get the most juice yield when I do that than just having one at full of time, especially Things like this, I've got greens and hard vegetables. I find juicing goes pretty quick. And a little more work preparing things to be a little smaller. You'll find if they're cut a little smaller, they'll juice a little more easily. Then say you had a large carrot and you're trying to just fit it right into the heat chute here, you'll find that'll be a little harder. So these are just pieces. Uh, one can have baby carrots or things like that. They'll juice pretty well. Even though you have this size feeds you, which is two and a quarter by one and three quarters. You don't want to necessarily have vegetables that full size. You really find it hard to push them in. I can say that's pretty much with most juicers. Having things a little smaller than the feed chute will simplify your juicing process. like this it's pretty normal to have some things left in your auger when you're done because basically it's what you push in pushes out so you may occasionally have some things left over inside that simply just kind of stay there and if you do reverse forward a few times you'll clear out most of your auger yeah, I'm still getting some juice here Let's give our juice a try.
Got a nice little glass. Mm. Delicious. And the pulp, let's take care of the pulp. <clears throat> As you've seen in many of my demonstrations, I was like, squeeze the pulp and see if there's any juice that still comes out. And I'm squeezing as tight as I can here. A little bit of juice wanting to come out. But I mean, it's normal for pulp to feel human. But you really, if you got a good juice, you shouldn't be squeezing out any juice from your pulp. And in this case, I'm really squeezing hard. You're just seeing a little bit of juice. And of course, the first thing is you pass through your auger. You'll notice the first pulp that comes out tends to be a little more moist, a little more juicy. But afterwards, once the auger and the whole interior of the juicer is compacted with pulp, it really becomes more efficient and the rest of the pulp is a lot less human. Well, again, this is Mark with rawnutrition.com. Be sure to check us out online and subscribe to our videos here on YouTube for more product demonstrations. Thank you.